Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft video brought to you by Rob's Mind. And today we're going to be checking out this awesome 3x4 piston door that I have right behind me. So to open this thing up, you just hit the button. Opens up something like this. It's super fast. Grabs those two blocks out of the center. And if we hit the button again, you'll see it close up super fast as well. I've got this hooked up to a T flip-flop circuit so that we can use a button just like a lever and also we can use it on the other side as well. Hit the button, close the door right back up. And actually this is just a rewired variation of the 2x2 hipster door that I have in one of my previous videos. I had to rewire a little bit of the components as well as add a couple of pistons so that we can make such a large entryway. Now what you're going to need for this build is 16 sticky pistons, 6 observers, 10 redstone torches, 12 redstone repeaters, 33 redstone dust, a stack of circuit blocks, 2 buttons of your choice, a 3 droppers, 1 hopper, 1 comparator, and 1 half slab that I actually forgot to put in my item list. So to start this build out we're going to put 2 blocks, redstone on top of them, Torches on the sides of those blocks with observers on top of the torches. Next, two sticky pistons on each of the observers, just like that. We will build blocks out in this form like that. Break that block and that one. Raise it up. Put your piston on top of there. Torch there. Oh, break that one. Redstone torch right there and a torch on that block as well. We're going to mirror this on the other side. So again, that's a block go a block up, then a block up towards the pistons that way, then up one more, that's where we'll place our piston, break that block, replace it with a redstone torch, torch on the face of that block, and a torch underneath it. Then we will put two redstone repeaters, both set to four ticks, just like that. After that we will wire up this top bit right here, blocks like that, connecting up to the top pistons, redstone, Repeater set to one tick. Redstone, repeater set to one tick, just like that. It's the same on both sides. We're going to put an observer block, just like that, staring at the redstone torch. Blocks on the back of the observers, just like that. We'll put blocks on the sides of those observers at the bottom. And then build up a form just kind of like this. So again, that'll be a block on the side of that piston, block up from there, and a block up from there. Next, we are going to put our redstone repeaters. Do not set these ones to four ticks. We're going to put these at the default, default delay at one tick. Then we are going to put these two repeaters, actually set these ones to four ticks. Yeah, we're going to do that. After that, we are going to pull a repeater output from this block right here, run that into a block, and then below that we are going to put a 2x2 platform right here, just like that. So we're going to copy that on the other side, so block on the side of the observer, we will go a 2x2 two two platform down at the bottom here then a repeater running straight into a block right there. So next we are going to put redstone dust on these three blocks on both sides, just like that. Set this repeater to two ticks and set this one to four ticks. Just like that. After that we are going to put, uh, not blocks, we're going to put observers staring right at those repeaters. So we'll get our observer blocks and we'll crouch and put them staring right at those repeaters. Next we will put circuit blocks on the backs of those observers just like that. And we are going to put two blocks right behind those two repeaters with redstone dust on the top of those two blocks. So when that redstone dust activates it will activate those final two repeaters. And that should be all of the middle circuitry all completed. So we are going to give that a quick test run by putting the four blocks right here. These should be our four blocks going up the center. We're going to grab ourselves a lever. 
and we are just going to put power to this bottom redstone right down here. So as we see, that pushes all them up into the four square pattern and brings them all part all down. That is the hard part complete. So next, all we have to do is build up our 3x4 wall right here. Just build it up with the block of your choice. Then we are going to add our pistons. So the piston layout is going to go something like this. We will put a piston behind there, just like that. Two pistons stacked on top of each other there. Mirror that on the opposite side, just like that. And then we are going to put four pistons on the top up here, facing down at those blocks with a one block gap between them. So they have room to extend and retract those blocks. And there's our fourth piston. Break that temporary block right there. Next, we're going to steal a signal output from this torch. Place a repeater facing out from the torch. Run that up into a block. And just kind of snake a redstone ladder up to the side of this piston. We'll then run redstone up all the blocks. And that will fire those two pistons. After that, we are going to get our half slab that I forgot to put in my inventory. And we are going to build our redstone ladder up this way. So that will not cut off our signal, but allow it to run upwards as well. So we will make sure to run it over in this direction, just like this. And run it up, just diagonally all the way up to our pistons. Place four blocks on the back of our pistons and fill in every bit of that with redstone. Our signal should reach all the way to the end. And it does. All pistons are extended. Next, we just have to steal the output from the opposite side and just run it up right to the back of these pistons like we did on the opposite side over there. We're just mirroring that other side. Just like this. Redstone on top of all those blocks. And that's our final two pistons fired. So if we get this test, that is our door completed right there. So now all we have to do is fill in the outer ring of these blocks right there so they're not exposed when our door is open. And we've got ourselves a functional door. Let me pretty this thing up and I will show you how to hook it up to a T-flip-flop. So now that we've got that looking all better, the next thing we are going to do is put a button right here. And we're going to go on the reverse side and we are going to put a button three blocks away from that frame right there on the wall. So next, we are going to find the block with your button on it. Place a sticky piston facing down on the bottom of that block and a block on the face of that sticky piston. Then we're going to go one, two, three blocks down, place a block and a redstone torch on the top of that. We're going to place a block on the side of the redstone torch with a repeater on top of that. Then we're going to build out a little line about three blocks long and build our T flip flop. That'll be a dropper facing this way, a dropper facing up, and a dropper facing back this way with a hopper to complete that circuit. Next we're going to place a block next to that dropper and take a comparator output from that. Don't forget to fill your hopper or else this thing will not work. After that we're going to place a block in front of that comparator. We're going to break our input real, our lever real quick so that we have can hook up the power to this thing. We're going to place a redstone on the, in front of the comparator with a torch on the side of that and then two blocks link up the redstone just like that. And that should be that whole part completed and wired up. So we hit the button door closes up and when we hit the button again it should open up just like that. Next we're going to wire up the back portion of this. To do that we're going to find the space right underneath where we've wired our button into. We're going to place a block under that just like this. Remove those blocks and we're just going to build a pattern kind of like this to avoid all of our circuitry that's already installed. We're going to run it over just like that, right into a block. And we're going to fill all of this with redstone, just like this. 
The redstone will power that block, which in turn will power this piston, and we're just going to put the block on the face of that, and that will activate our T flip-flop, just like it does the other side. So we'll give it a test, and there's everything closed. Hit the button again. There is everything open. And that's it. If you found this video useful, please do hit that like button, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. Helps me a whole bunch. Thank you so much. This has been Rob's Mind. I'm out.